Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Adam Ryler with Adam So Fun, and today we are going to dive into designer. So um, let's see a few. Let's let's catch up on my life. Sorry for the echo. I'm in the um, dining room. We are in Palm Springs. We're in a rental, and so none of this stuff that you see is mine, other than the computer and my delicious Step Brothers. One of the um, very exciting things about moving back to the uh, West Coast is Dutch Brothers. It's a coffee chain, but they have these um, delicious, they're energy drinks, but we'll get into that discussion later. Uh, but it's a blended energy drink that they have flavoring too. Oh, this is so good. This is called the Cabana and it's a uh, pineapple coconut. So I uh, totally got off tangent, but seriously love them. So I treated myself to a Dutch Brothers this morning. Um, but so we are in Palm Springs. Do I have anywhere to sew? No, because our rental, the one room that was going to be the sewing room, doesn't have room to sew in it really. And there's not a table that I can put my sewing machine on other than this glass one. And I'm not going to put it on that. So I've ordered a little table that I can sew on in the meantime until our house closes. Um, I was at Academy. So we taught at HQ Academy. You saw the video about that. So much fun. Oh my gosh. It's just... I always tell everyone it's an experience so if you can ever go to it it's worth it i went as a as a student and i also have been as a teacher um definitely it's fun as a teacher but you don't have to do all the work as a student so you know you have that um but i decided that i'd finally dive in and do some designer classes or videos um these are going to be very like basic and it, they're going to uh I'm gonna to try to keep them quick and to the point. So each week is like, here's a new little piece, here's a new little piece. And we're gonna work our way around like the interface and the screen and then go into some of the draw tools and stuff. So this one's gonna be um, more like if you've taken a pro stitcher class with me and I go through and tell you what all those things do. Um, this is gonna be a quick rundown of what all those things do, like where you're gonna find things. And then um, maybe next week we'll go over the draw tools and then the artwork tools and um, then editing and talking about nodes and stuff. So it'll be kind of a week by week progression um, until I have a long arm, which will at least be another month. And then I hit the road again and all that. So um, I thought this would be a nice way to kind of um, do something when I don't have a sewing machine. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I do have some muslin here. I'm going to try to make some shirts while I am sitting here doing nothing. Um, so I have a pattern of my favorite shirt. Um, someone at a shop made a pattern for me and I'm going to see how my shirt making skills go. Um, I've never made a shirt before, so we'll find out. Um, and I was just at Stitch House in Texas, in Dallas, and they had some, they do a lot of embroidery stuff because they sell multiple machines, not just Handy Quilter. And they had these heirloom napkins and I went and I asked, did you make these or did you find these? And they had found them. But, um, because we're moving, they also had some really beautiful, beautiful organic linen. So I'm going to make some um, table, uh, some table napkins to look like embroider, like heirloom napkins, whatever. So I bought some linen and some wing needles or hem stitch needles, and I practiced on some of their machines, which stitch I want to do. And so um, I will. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video of that whenever I have everything together. I need to do some cutting for that too, but. Um, I'm excited because those are um, gonna hopefully look fantastic and they are the color scheme the new house is gonna be so um, without further ado we will turn you around um, I'll do this so we're not gonna do an outro so I'll just do it uh, you know remember please like subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you're notified when new things um, drop um, share the videos if you want the more the merrier we're almost to 4,000 and when we do 4,000 uh, subscribers I am going to give away a roll of batty so uh, that's kind of exciting um, what else is there like subscribe hit the bell as Mickey would say um, oh follow me on social media Adam so fun and that's with an SEW and that's everywhere Facebook Instagram uh, at Gmail if you're gonna email me uh, I'm slowly trying to get back to if you if you've sent a question or you've commented on a video or anything I'm I'm trying to get back and get all those comments um, answered. I, the last two months have just been so crazy that I didn't, 
I had no downtime to actually sit on a computer and answer that. So I'll take a few hours, um, hopefully tomorrow, and get some of those questions answered. I know we're going to go out to the beach for 4th of July, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, without further ado, oh, happy 4th of July weekend, everyone. Um, stay safe, please. And if you are in anywhere that is dry, don't start a, for don't start a fire. Um, I know we're going to where they have the uh, fireworks are illegal and my dogs love that so usually we can't do anything because the dogs get scared so we stay at home and turn all the uh, TVs on but um, we're gonna switch the camera around I'm gonna get onto the computer uh, we will be in designer today and um, yeah we'll see you back here in a second all right everyone so this is pro stitcher studio it's pro stitcher designer but it's studio because it also runs the pro stitcher catalog which we've talked about and that's this find button if you don't have the Pro Stitcher catalog, you do not have this find button. Um, when you open Pro Stitcher, you'll get a pop up, or when you open Pro Stitcher Studio, um, and I'm just going to call it Designer because that's what I'm used to saying, um, you're going to get a pop up. And if there's an available update and things, um, that's, that pop up is going to tell you hey, there's a new update. You know, go in, download it. Um, there was a, there is a new update as of like two weeks ago when we were at Academy. A new update came out, and it added some really cool buttons to the, uh, like, I believe the repeat and a few of the other functions in our modify tab. So you definitely want to check that out. But the first thing we see is the screen, and um, previously Art and Stitch was out. Art and Stitch is a great program. It's what everybody used. Um, and then Pro Stitcher decided to develop its own, you know, digitizing software, which is what, where Pro Stitcher Studio came from. Um, what I like about this software is it is set up just like our Pro Stitcher tablets and our Pro Stitcher program on our machines. So it's already user friendly because a lot of the options and the buttons that we have currently, we're going to have here as well. And they're going to do the same thing. So. Um, let's talk about what we see on the screen. So over on the left, these are going to be our select tools. Um, there's a measure, uh, which is the ruler. There's pan, which is um, if I split, if I select it right now, we can see we opened on zero, zero. So we can see on our ruler, um, I can pan the screen around by clicking and holding. And you can see all of like, you can just see those ruler bars moving. So that's what Pan does. It's going to move your workspace. The white area, just like Pro Stitcher, is going to be your workspace. Um, so everything you bring in lives in your workspace. Um, your zoom tool. This is an, a shape tool, and we'll talk about this in another video when we go in and actually change um, the shapes of designs and modify them and such. And then this is our select tool. Um, right, if you look at the screen, you'll see it says select Q. That is a hotkey. Um, so what's great about this, if I had a design open and I was or making a design, I can hit Q to select something instead of having to come up and actually click on the select tool. Um, but uh, and I believe there's a list of hotkeys in the uh, manual. Um, down at the bottom, we'll see that we have design one. And we're going to kind of work here and go counterclockwise to the top. Um, it says design one. That is because I have one screen open, one workspace open. If I were to click new, we'll see that I have design one and design two. So you can work on multiple designs at one time, um, which is great because you're always kind of copying and pasting things and wanting to save things in different parts. And I'm always having multiple uh, windows open. I think during Academy, we had like design 32. We had a lot, we had a lot of windows open. Um, but this is where you'll see all of your kind of the projects you're currently working on. Um, down here, these colors, these are going to be your um, like thread colors. And I believe these are currently um, glide color. We're waiting for Sup Superior to upload their colors so you can actually color it the exact color thread that you're going to be using on your project, which is super cool. Um, but I can change the colors of thread on my project when I'm working. So that's super fun. Um, the sidebar, which is again, just like Pro Stitcher, we have our design tab or our design window. Um, and then down here, these are different um, views. So I'm gonna draw something really quick. You're gonna, again, you don't know how I'm doing this because I'm not taking the time. That's a different video. 
But um, I just drew a diamond really quick. And now if I look over on my sidebar, um, I have an eye. This is information. So if you do make your own designs, you can add notes and say, like, this was made by Adam So Fun uh, 2021. I think that's the year. Um, and you can copyright this and put this in your notes. You can also add keywords. And then when you save it and you hit apply and save it, um, it'll save all that stuff for you. So that's very cool. Um, a very cool thing you can do. Um, this is right here our artwork tool. So it's saying it's an outline and you can change the opacity. And this stroke means how thick that line is. So right now we're at two. I'm going to select on there and we'll change this to one. I'm going to hit apply. You always have to hit apply. But do you see how the line got thinner? I could also do the same thing and change it higher to three. And now I have a thicker line. So um, I believe it used to default to one. And with the new updated, de it defaults to two. So it gives you a nice viewable line of your design. Remember, you always do have to hit the apply. Now these windows can move. You can drag and drop the windows to make them taller. So if you see something like this and you're like, wait, I know that I have to hit apply and my apply button has disappeared. If you hold or if you scroll your mouse over to where it turns into those arrows, click and drag down until you can see that apply. So we always want to be able to see this. Um, your stroke color and dashes, we don't have anything. I can make it a dash line. I can make it dots. Um, I'm just going to leave it as none just for solid because that's going to confuse me. And then the other um, thing over here, and this is when it's selected. So you can see it says artwork because my artwork is selected, is um, the transform tool. So transform is where we can come in and change it. We can change the height. We can change the width. Um, maintain aspect ratio. This is like hitting the lock when we resize in the Pro Stitcher. You can tell it the exact X, Y coordinates that you want to put it in, in your grid. So if I wanted the center of this at zero, zero, I can hit zero and I can push zero. And you can see zero, zero is going to be right here. I'm going to hit apply and it moved the center to zero, zero. There's other ways to do that. You can also mirror and flip in this screen and rotate it. Um, but there's buttons that do that. So usually I use the actual buttons because um, it makes it a little bit easier. And then I'm going to make this bigger. I know we're just we're getting rid of that apply window or the apply button, but I want you to see all these. So this we're right here and we're in our sequence view. And that's what this button down here is this sequence view. I can hit the plus arrow and it shows me that this is the thread color and I have one artwork and this is my one artwork. This is the design. Uh, tab and these are all designs that live in my computer. I have, uh, let's see, some class things I made. We have embroideries, quiltable. Let's see if I can get there. So I have quiltable designs. I have my, uh, oh, another quiltable one. I think I saved them in separate places. Um, and if you see this arrow, it's because I linked the file. Um, to have it search. And this is my taco USB. So this is a ton of other stuff that I did. Um, let's see. Oh, it's just some more designs. I'm going to, I'll fall off onto a tangent. If I keep looking at these, I don't even know. I had that mushroom design, um, <clears throat> but you have access to all these. And these are the files. I can drag and drop it right into my window to open those files. And this opens a copy. So you can see down here, it still says design two. If I wanted to actually edit the master file, I could double click it and see how it says mushrooms B to B. Um, this will edit the master file. And I, over here, if I'm gonna bring this down, you can see the notes, this pattern is copyrighted. Um, it was bought by Ann, or I bought it from Ann Bright and so on and so forth. So I'm going to um, close this one because I always get hesitant or I always worry when I click that, that I'm going to, um, oh no, I had that pulled up. Um, if I double click and open one, I always worry because I think, oh my gosh, you're going to write over something and that's not what I want to do. Um, this next one is the some effects. I'm going to delete. So I'm, I just selected on my uh, mushroom design, I can right click and hit delete. I could also hit delete 
on my um, screen or any or on my keyboard. <clears throat> but um, and there's a few other ways you can close things. But I just didn't want to have that uh, on here just in case. And right now I'm kind of zoomed out. So on our Pro Stitcher, I would call it the bottom house, the refresh house. Um, this uh, program kind of does the same thing. I'm going to select in my window and hit space bar, and it's going to bring everything in my workspace into view. It's like refresh. Um, if I had multiple designs, so I'm just going to copy and paste, control C, control V. So I have these two designs. If I select one of them, maybe the second one, and I hit the period button, that's a hot key to zoom in just to that design. So uh, I think I'm just going to have to do a, one video with all hot keys so we can talk about them. Um, all right, so this is the, the next is the effects tab. This is very cool because see up here where it says outlines and we can have a running stitch, we can have a motif, or we can have artwork. We're currently in artwork. Um, if I click motif, do you see how it changes the stitches around here? And I have all of these different motifs to choose from. Um, now, I haven't tested these out, and I'm sure some stitch better than others, but that's something you can play with. Um, what, let's see, standard. Oh, I gotta get down to my apply button. There we are. Oh, standard's just gonna be the line. Um, you'll see the stitch length. You don't really have to worry about that in terms of stitches. This isn't gonna, this doesn't mean your um, machine is gonna stitch with a 3.5 millimeter stitch length. This shows uh, it's going to digitize as if it were 3.5 millimeter stitch length. Um, sometimes I turn that to one to get uh, smaller curves more curved, but um, we set our pro stitcher in our, um, in our tablets the stitch length uh, when we use our regulator. Um, the other thing down here that the effects has are these fills. So maybe I want a standard fill and it's going to do a straight line fill. And again, you can change these buttons to have that fill go up or down, and we'll do a video on that. <clears throat> this is the navigator window. So you can see the blue box. That's what we're zoomed in on. So I'm zooming out just with the scroll wheel on my mouse, or I can zoom in, and you can see that this box is going to move, and I can drag and drop that box. Um, so that's the navigator window. And then this purchases shows me that I purchased Pro Stitcher Designer, and I purchased Catalog. If you wanted to purchase Catalog or you're using a demo version of Designer and needed to purchase it, I believe you can hit these little dots and go in and purchase that way. You can also go to ProStitcher.com. And if you are interested in Catalog, talk to your local retailer and get a coupon code for $10 off. And if they don't participate in that or they don't want to get you it, send me a message. I have uh, a list of them I can give you. Um, so that's our sidebar. I'm going to come click over here and I'm going to come back to my sequence view. We can see right here um, that the sequence view changed a little bit because I made that copy. So now we have the regular, tri or regular diamond and then we also have this one which is a complex fill. I'm going to come back and change that to artwork just so I have those two squares. And now I can see that I have two pieces of artwork because we'll talk about stitches and everything later. So up on our uh, tabs. File isn't going to have a ribbon, but it's going to work just like ProStitcher again. File, ribbons, and then we're going to make stuff, and then we have our sidebar for options. So the File tab is a dropdown, just like most uh, PC uh, programs. Um, we can open things. Recover is very cool, so it's auto-saving things that we're making. So if it crashes, um, we, can, we can go in and um, open those back up again. So that's very cool. Um, you have your saves and save as, which we'll have to use when we're going to save this as stitches, and we'll talk about that later. Um, you can print, print your catalog. You can actually um, take a picture of a quilt, show, show an edge to edge on top of it, and then print it and send that to your client and say, hey, what do you think about this design? Super, super cool stuff. Um, our home tab is where we can come in and like also do some of those file. We can... Uh, open a new one, save, open things. We can print preview. Um, this send will send it straight to Pro Stitcher. And so if you do have catalog on your computer, you can send things back and forth from Pro, uh, not from on your computer, on your tablet, on your actual machine tablet. You can create something in Pro Stitcher, 
realize it doesn't fit, send it to designer right using a button in the Pro Stitcher side, edit it here, hit the send, it sends it back, and now you've um, done editing right at your tablet. I don't try to digitize at my tablet. I think the screen's too small and I want a mouse and everything, but um, I definitely use it for catalog, which is the fine feature, and I use it to uh, kind of edit some things here and there. You do have to be on the most current um, version of Pro Stitcher, which is uh, the 21.05.353, 535. I'm dyslexic and now I can't think of which one it is. I believe it's 535. So sorry for the confusion. And then this is your area library. Um, undo and redo our favorite buttons. These are going to be always stay here. So you can see as I click through things, they're still there. So just remember that. Um, our tools tab, oops, our tools tab. This has our clipboard, which is copy, paste, you know, delete. Um, we have our draw tools. And like I said, we're gonna do a whole video on just what the draw tools do, but you can, um, basically your tools are made to create. You're creating something. Um, we have artworks to create. We can sw uh, close designs and swap endpoints. We can make notes on the designs. Um, we can uh, use these create tools to do different um, auto digitizing and kind of uh, multiply designs in different ways. We can slice the design in half. Um, we have the backdrop tool and magic wand. We'll do a video on those and those are kind of auto digitizing or uh, ways to help you digitize or kind of auto ish digitize with a little more a little more steps than what auto digitize would do and then batch conversion saves your designs as every file type that it can so that's pretty cool especially if you're going to start digitizing um, and selling designs um, one of the things with designer is i am not an artist so i love kind of the artwork tools when we get into them um, i also really like to digitize straight lines like that's my running joke is that I am a hundred percent I'm a hundred and fifty percent great at digitizing a straight line because I make squares and quilt blocks and things like that that I want to stitch in my negative space so really designers for everyone you just have to find what you like to dig digitize um, the modify tab just like in pro stitcher this is where you're going to come to change those designs in any way. If you wanna flip it, if you wanna rotate it, if you wanna mirror it. Um, transform, you can see that we have transform here. If I click this, watch the sidebar over here. This is gonna highlight and this, these are gonna change. So it's it's already in your sidebar, but you can come up it's, and um, click it up here. Um, we can crop, we have um, arrange tools because you're working kind of um, unlike Pro Stitcher, you're working from front, like front to back, and we'll talk about that when we actually start drawing things, but this will let you group things and move things from front to back. Um, we can center things. Um, these shaping tools are really, really cool, and I love these pictures because it shows you a picture of what actually is going to happen, and then um, we have these distribute tools. So we'll talk about these in another video, but this is where you're going to come to do anything to that design. Move it, crop it, flip it, shrink it, whatever you want to do, you're going to come here. Um, preview tab is where you're going to come if you want to change it to stitches. So right now, you'll see the stitch out is grayed out. And if I look down at the bottom right, we see that we have two artworks. So I'm going to select stitches because we're currently in artwork. I'm going to hit stitches and only this one changed because only that was selected. And you can see down in our sidebar, we have one artwork and we have one run and it says 57. So it's saying it has 57 stitches. So now I can click stitch out and our screen's gonna change a little bit. You'll see the other uh, diamond disappeared. And now I can use this bar. So here's our little scrolly piece, oops. So I can use this and scroll and it shows me how that's gonna stitch out. So you can see the stitch out. I can also come over here and just hit the um, arrows and it'll do it. That was really fast because this design is not is, is small, but I can change the speed using this scroll bar. So maybe I'm going to come back over here and then now it's going a little slower. So there's a lot of, a lot of options here. Uh, when we want to save it as a design for our Pro Stitcher, we're always going to save it as stitches and then, um, and then 
as our file type. And I'll leave that one. Um, the View tab is just like the View tab on Pro Stitcher, so you can turn things on and off. If I hit interlocking, this is kind of cool. It shows me what that design is going to look like if I kind of uh, uh, repeated it. You can see your starts and stops. Or I, so I can turn my artwork on and off. Um, this reali realistic, I'm going to zoom in close. So these are this is stitches, right? If I hit realistic, it makes it kind of look like a stitch-ish. So it's not just a line. So that's kind of neat. Um, I'm going to turn that off. You can see notes and your quilting space and such. Um, settings we'll talk about in another video, but you can come and change your general settings. And then help. This is where you can register your um, register your Pro Stitcher designer. You can check for updates if you haven't um, started the program in a while and you just open your computer and it's always running. About, you have some tutorials and help, which will give you the... Uh, the uh, manual and when in doubt check the manual see what the manual says and then you can work off of it from there so that's just a little quick tutorial of the platform itself when we come back um, in the next one we'll jump into some of those draw tools and shapes and um, actually start drawing but i feel like you kind of need to know where things are before you start drawing because you know, most of you probably saw me make that diamond and your first thought was, wait, how did you make that diamond? And you just need to kind of know some of the other things before we jump into that. So um, thank you for watching. Again, like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, um, follow me on social media, and we will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful 4th of July and happy stitching, everyone. And remember, at the end of the day, it's just quilting. See you soon. Bye.